Tonight I'm gonna to show you how I make my quick marinara sauce. It takes 25 minutes, it has less than five ingredients, and it's very versatile. It's so much better than buying a jar of marinara sauce. You will love it, you'll actually make it and keep it in your fridge for a week. It's great on so many different things. Okay, so you wanna heat your olive oil up and I'm gonna add uh, one onion, chopped. And I like to saute my onions before I, I add my next ingredients just to get that started. Turn your flame up. Don't wanna burn your onions, you just want them lightly um, sauteed. And then we're gonna add our garlic. And a little trick here that I'm gonna show you that makes it taste like it had been cooking all afternoon, when in reality it's gonna take you less than 25 minutes. And most of us have a can of crushed tomatoes in our pantry or some tomato paste. It's very simple. I absolutely love it. So you just you want to cook your onions till they're slightly opaque, and then we're going to add our garlic. We're going to cook this for about two, two, three minutes. Mm, nothing like onions and garlic. Oh, it smells so good. Then this is where I add a little. I like a little bit of spice to my sauce, so I'll add a, just a couple pinches of um, red pepper flakes. And let's stir that in there. Then here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add two tablespoons of tomato paste to this and we're going to saute it till it's brown. So it gives you that kind of, um, that you cooked your sauce long. So it just gives you that little more of a depth, a little more depth into your um, sauce. As if you might have cooked it with some meat or something all afternoon. It's, so just stir this, you don't want it to burn, you want it to brown. So get your onions in there, your garlic, get your flame on medium, and kind of crush the paste into your, the bottom of your pan. So it's all mixed with the onions and garlic. So we're gonna let that cook a little bit, brown it up. And like I said, this sauce is great just with a bowl of pasta, um, fish, chicken, anything. A quick little small eggplant dish. Um, it's really versatile and very inexpensive to make and it really has a great flavor. It's surprising how tasty it is. We're gonna let this just brown. You want it to, you know, go from red to medium brown. Well, this makes enough sauce for probably six servings, six to eight servings. Um, and you can double, this recipe doubles really nicely. Um, so when I uh, list the ingredients, I'll put that in my blog, that this recipe really does um, double nicely. So it makes a nice little pot of sauce. So now this is getting nice and brown. So it went from, you know, red to a nice kind of, you know, darker red, not burnt, but like a dark, almost brown, and really flatten it in there. And you'll smell it, it smells really nice. And don't be afraid to let it cook, just don't burn it. Because I like, the longer I cook it, the more tomato flavor you get, a more rich tomato flavor. This is actually my son David's favorite um, tomato sauce, and I even hate to say it, he likes it better than our, my family's spaghetti sauce that takes four or five hours to cook. He loves this, just so simple. Um, he makes it quite a bit at school. So now that this is brown, we're gonna add our next ingredients, which is the crushed 28 um, ounce can of your crushed tomatoes. I like to add a little bit of water, just gonna rinse out your can so you get those uh, everything in your can, stir it. And then this is where we're gonna add our salt and pepper to taste. You want it to come to a nice, um, easy boil. Put your salt in here. It's going to bubble up quite a bit, because it's thick, but we're gonna put the lid on it and let it simmer um, for about 25 minutes. And that's it, your sauce is done. So, and taste it, you know, for, for, for more salt or pepper. So let it come to a nice boil. 
And then we're going to, I'm gonna add a little more water to this. I'm adding a little bit more water to my sauce. It's just, it, it just, this can of tomatoes have to be a little more thick. So I want it to cook down a little bit. Your, this sauce is going to be a, a thick marinara sauce. Now if you want it thinner, add a little bit more water, but adjust your seasoning to that. And so really all this is is salt, pepper, garlic, onions, olive oil. I like to throw at the end a little bit more olive oil in it when it's done, and then taste it it's for salt and pepper. So now that this is boiling, I'm gonna put my lid on it, turn the heat down to a real um, simmer, light simmer, and let this cook for 20, 25 minutes. Um, stir it occasionally, don't let it sit there you know, by itself. Don't ignore it, cook it, or stir it, and then uh, taste it again for seasoning. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. For this recipe and more, please join me at maryampace.com, and happy cooking.